Happy Friday to you. Today is September 27th, and these are the Friday Funnies. And as we approach the end of September, we are nearing another fiscal cliff. Now, I thought we got down from the fiscal cliff last year, but apparently we're backed up against it again. I think this time we should toss all of the politicians over the fiscal cliff, one at a time, lemming-like, you know, until they agree on a solution. Seriously, what's the worst that could possibly happen? I think we could avoid the cliff altogether. Here's my idea of proposing a tax on people who make like over $10 million that tick us off. People like Justin Bieber, Miley Cyrus, Donald Trump, underperforming professional athletes, they would be at the top of the list. If all the people that really irritated us and were rich ponied up a few million dollars apiece, we could get off the fiscal cliff and Congress could get back to doing what they do best. Nothing. Well, the people in this week's news did a lot. They did a lot of odd things. Here then are the oddest. Buckingham Palace advertised this week for a royal timekeeper. The queen has a thousand clocks among her four residences, and she needs a full-time royal timekeeper to keep them wound and set to the accurate time. The job pays $50,035 per year, and I've got a couple of questions. First, why does she need a thousand clocks? In fact, why does the queen need to know what time it is ever? Where does she have to be? When you're the queen, it's always tea time. And secondly, doesn't $50,000 sound like a lot of money for a royal timekeeper? For that same amount of money, they could get the queen a really, really nice watch, and she'd know the time wherever she roamed. Just an idea. Attention. If you are currently taking or have contemplated taking any ED drugs like Viagra, please take heed. A man in the Colombian city of Gigante, certainly no pun intended there, had to have his penis amputated this week Yowch! when he overdosed on Viagra. The 66-year-old man wanted to impress his new girlfriend, so he purposely overdosed on Viagra, and his erection lasted far beyond the four hours mentioned in the warning. It, it lasted for several days before he sought help. Now, doctors took one look at it, said that this guy's wiener was, and I quote, inflamed, fractured, and showed signs of gangrene. OMG. Then they decided to amputate. Double OMG. Doctors have said the patient is recovering well, but he is complaining that he has nothing to play with. If you've ever seen the TV program Naked and Afraid on the Discovery Channel, you're going to be intrigued by the latest in Halloween haunted houses. There is a haunted house in Sinking Spring, Pennsylvania that is offering its patrons a late night option called Shocktoberfest. At Shocktoberfest, you can enter the haunted house completely naked, which is supposed to make you even more afraid. Which is great, because now you don't even have pants to poop in. But being naked in my own house makes me afraid, let alone a haunted one. So this would not be the attraction for me. But if you like to be scared, this haunted house features zombies and ghouls. And the scariest part, which is when you walk naked in front of a full-length mirror. Hey, that's all I have for you this week. I hope you have a wonderful weekend, and I will see you back here next Friday.